Welcome survivors, my name is Matthias and this is Immersive Gaming and yes, I thought about it and I want to give you guys um, a scum tutorial on how to begin and the first thing I would like you guys to do if you're new to the game is start with single player and you might think that is not the best way to experience scum but you've basically got two options. Your one option is to go to official servers where you are not going to find any vehicles probably. So it might feel like a running simulator to you. And you might get killed and that might not be fun. And yes, you might experience some lag problems which might put you off the game a little bit. So the reason I want you to start on single player is first of all just to see what Scum has to offer without anyone hoarding all the vehicles or killing you constantly or you walking over mines or whatever the case may be. Okay, I just want you to experience everything. Now I have made an ultimate um, character guide for the people who have been playing for a very very long time but this build is specifically catered to new people okay and so in this build we are just going to focus on how to let you have the most amount of fun right from the start and just immerse yourself in your experience take it slow not worry about other people and then once you have experienced everything and you know what this game has to offer then it will motivate you to go to a multiplayer server and really start enjoying yourself with the competitive side of it. So for now, this is the character that we start with. I want you just to go three right through the bank. I want you to go next. Now, when you start, you'll be able to craft a melee weapon quite quickly. So you're going to start with a melee weapon. Then you'll be able to craft a bow quite quickly as well. So I want you to start with um, archery as well and then at the constitution i just want you to take medium medium running i'm not going to explain why guys you just have to trust me and then at dexterity i want you to take medium stealth and then i want you to take um, basic driving uh, basic motorcycling and then basic thievery okay that's what i want you to do there i don't want any arguments in the comments below that this is not the best build this is the best build to have the most amount of fun right from the start okay then what i want you to do is i want you to take um medium engineering and i want you to take medium survival <clears throat> okay and that's it Now we get started. Okay guys, so here we are at the start. Okay, you can press M immediately to see where you are on the map. So we are here in C3. Okay. And yeah, again, I don't, just want you to take your time because if you're on a multi multiplayer server, you'll... Uh, maybe feel rushed or something like that or worry about fame points and stuff like that but for now we're just going to relax so if we press focus mode we can see that we've got a compass that's first of all going to help us to navigate the map a lot easier and then if we go to our crafting tab you will see that we are able to craft most of the things we will be able to craft fan everything later in this tutorial but for now, you can see that you can craft 9mm um, ammunition, which will help you to level up your handgun skill. And then you'll see that we can craft shotgun ammo, which will help you to level up your um, rifle skill. Okay, and then we can craft uh, a bow with arrows to level up archery. And then we can, later on in the game, um, we just need basic... Um, rifles to craft an improvised scope and then we can level we can even level up sniping if we don't find an ACOG site for a gun 
and we can even craft the .44 Magnum ammo and the .38 ammo, which will help us with the pistol skills again. And then we'll be able to craft a practice bomb to level up demolition and a lock picking board to level up um, lock picking. And the great thing is if we find a vehicle, then uh, we'll be able to enjoy it from the start and then learn, you know, learn it as we go along. We'll start to drive faster and faster. The reason I didn't take um, medium, I didn't ask you guys to take medium driving or medium motorcycling is I, I just want you guys to get used to um, driving a lot and then especially with the motorcycle I want you guys to get familiar with the motorcycle before you crash it and um, you know let it explode and then later on in this tutorial we will get to the most advanced things possible so this character will be able to craft everything um, that you're able to craft in the game okay and then I'll show you guys how to then create your own server if you want to create your own server I'll tell you how to do that and what what settings does what in your um in your server settings you know and then i'm just going to show you how to experience everything in the game because the way you play the game is very very important so the first thing i, I want you to do is go to a, a little like a rock pile okay press f and then you'll see that um rocks are coming out of it okay and then you can just walk around it and keep wait until it says search for rocks and just you know just keep searching it like this we've got more than enough rocks so now what you want to do is you want to click on two rocks right click craft stone knife these videos aren't going to be very long guys i'm going to try and keep them short but i'm going to try and give you one every day and um, that you can just follow up on it so again craft stone knife you can craft an axe right from the start as well, but um, we only really need to do that if we spawn in the snow area. Okay, so we're going to put one in our hand, we're going to put one in our pants, and then we're going to look for a bunch of bushes that are close together. And those bushes right there seem like the prime location for us. So here's a bunch of bushes together. So we're just going to press F on them to cut them up. Kind of cut this one up. The reason we want bushes together is so that all the resources are in our vicinity and that we don't have to run up and down to diff various bushes to get all the resources that we need for crafting, which we are going to do right now. Okay, so the first thing that you would like to craft is right at the top that's a spear. A spear only takes one long stick and the stone knife which we have so we're going to craft the spear quickly just in case we run into a puppet or something it's a good place to start just so that you have a defensive item on you immediately okay and then we're just going to double click on it to put it in our first slot and then the second thing that we want to craft is uh improvised improvised career backpack because we've got no inventory space for that we're going to need a tree bark rope and then three rags okay so what do we need for tree bark rope we need five small sticks and a stone knife so we're going to craft the rope okay now we can see the rope is in our vicinity and then of course we need three rags so we're just going to cut up the items on us that we really don't need and the willy warmer is definitely one of them if you've got the supporter pack if you don't have the supporter pack, then your socks, your pants, and your shirt will be your next options. So we're just going to cut that up into a rag. Or into rags. Okay, so there we've got the three rags. So now we can make the improvised courier backpack immediately. Okay, so now that we've crafted the bag, we can double click on it to open its inventory or we can double click here just to equip it. Okay, now the next thing that I want us to focus on is a bow, just a normal 20 pound bow because to craft the 35 pound bow, um, we're going to need a wire 
or a five meter rope, which we don't have with us at the moment. So we just want to craft the improvised bow, which is going to take um, improvised rope that we make from five rag strips or tree bark rope, which we know how to make and one long stick. So we've got a long stick and we've got another long stick. So we're going to cut this long stick into small sticks to so that we can get to the rope. Okay, so there we've got three sticks. We need two more. So we're just going to go cut up this bush. Now it really doesn't matter how far this bush is away from me because I can put the stick in there or I can put the stick in there and I can walk back to, you know, where we had the three sticks. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five. So now we can craft the rope again. We could have even put the three short sticks into our backpack. Okay, and now we can craft the bow. Because we've got one long stick in our vicinity, we've crafted the rope and we've got the stone knife. Okay, so there we double click on the bow and we've got the bow. Now we want at least 12 arrows, okay? And you will see that our stone knife has 60% durability left. And our other stone knife has 20% durability left. And we need at least 12 arrows to start with. So we're going to cut down this bush. And this bush. And now we want to see, you know, what kind of durability do we need to craft arrows. So we're going to go to wooden arrows right here. Because a wooden arrow just takes a small wooden stick. We're going to craft it. And then we're going to go and see that it takes 10 durability away from our stone knife. So we need to know every arrow takes 10 durability away from our stone knife. So we're going to need a total of 120% durability. But on these two stone knives, we've only got 50. So we definitely need another stone knife, probably two of them. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to look around us for another one of these stone piles. And we need at least, we need at least four more rocks. Okay, so now we can click on both, craft stone knife. Craft another one. You can always go in here and craft it, guys. But if you know what the recipes are, it's a little bit faster. Okay, so now we're just going to double click on these two stone knives. We're going to go back to all our sticks. Okay, and now we're going to just cut up these into small sticks. At least we know we've got enough stone knives now. And we want a little bit of stone knife left later when we encounter a puppet. Because we are going to cut the puppet's clothing up to use its rags for a quiver. Instead of using our own rags for a quiver. Okay. So now we want to craft an arrow. And then we just want to press Alt-C to keep crafting the arrows. You can see my item got destroyed. So one of the stone knives are gone already. Okay, so there we've got the arrows. Just double click on them. So that gives us nine. We need three more. So we're just going to go to this last bush. Cut up this one quickly. Twelve is the max that you can have in one stack, guys. So to save on inventory space, that's all we basically need. So now you can see our stone knife has only got 70% durability left. We're going to craft three arrows and then we should only have 40% durability left. It's good to know these things in the future. So you don't run around looking for um, stone knives so that you know the effect that the arrows has. So there we go. Um, okay, use both of them. So it's fine. 
And now we can just put this stone knife in our in our pants. We can throw away this stone knife. And now we've got a spear to defend ourselves with. We can block with a spear as well. And now we've got a bow to kill puppets with. Okay. So I want to go to the map. And then I want to see what's the closest town to me. And that town is definitely the closest. Um, I like starting at small towns, but this is a water source. Uh, we're going to run out of water before we run out of food. So we want to get to this water source, drink a little bit of water, and then we want to go to the town. Okay, so let's get to the water source quickly. Okay, guys, so we're running towards the water source to get water. But while you're running through the forest, you'll get different um, logs and mushrooms in your path which you can just search and then you eat grasshoppers or worms to sustain your calories while you're sprinting. So here's two mushrooms. We can just eat these two mushrooms quickly. Just press F on it. And we're going to eat this mushroom as well. So now these we um, processing some lava and some mushrooms just to help our energy a bit because... When you haven't got any weight on you, you would like to sprint. Okay, so now we're going to sort out this puppet. You just hit, move away. You hit and you move away. You hit. Okay, just strike and move back. Sometimes they won't move back, but you move back. And take your time. Don't spam it. Otherwise, you're going to run out of stamina. Okay, so just keep hitting them like this. So that you, know, so that you practice how to use a melee weapon. And now the puppet is dead. And what we want to do is we want to search it. Hopefully it gives us clothing. Yes, it did. And now we are going to cut up its clothing into rags. And if you, were, if you were in the snow, you would put on the puppet's clothing to warm you up. But there we've got the three rags that we need for the quiver. Okay. So now we only need the, the five sticks for the tree bark rope. Okay. Now I just killed that puppet with a spear to show you how a spear can help you in the beginning. But we're going to cut up this bush quickly. We're going to cut up this bush quickly. Because we more or less know a bush gives us one long stick and two small sticks when we're using this tool. Okay, so we want to cut up one of the sticks. Be because if you're using a better tool, the bush will give you more resources. But for now, we we gathering the information that we need for one day when we go to a multiplayer server. So we craft the, the rope. And now with the rope, okay, and the three rags that we got from the puppet, we can craft the, um, the quiver, okay? But we need five more sticks. So that's fine. We're just going to put the rope in there. And then, yeah, this bush isn't going to give us enough sticks. So, yeah, let's just go to these bushes. So we know this bush is going to give us um, one long stick and two short sticks. Okay. And then we've got that behind us. So we can cut up the one that's behind us. Because it says, if, if you look here, it says that it takes five long sticks or five short sticks. Okay. So we need five short sticks for it. Just like we crafted the rope. Okay. We're going to need five short sticks. Okay, and there we can craft the quiver, which is going to give us three extra inventory slots. But basically, it's just to keep our arrows in. Okay, we double click on the quiver, and now we're going to put our arrows in here, freeze up inventory space, and then that puppet could have, will give us a bow knife if we chop it up. But we're not worried about that. And because of our compass, we can see that the little dam is southeast. So now we're just holding our focus mode and we make sure that we run southeast 
and this way we don't waste any time okay which is very very important in this game you want to minimize any frustration as much as possible so here we've got two more logs and we're just going to search the logs it's all, it's you know, it's in our route we're not going out of our way and we can see that our energy we can see that our energy our calories have gone up okay so this is this is a very easy way to keep your food at a at a nice level okay you're gonna eat that we're gonna eat that okay we don't want to eat too much we don't want to go way over 100 percent we just want to make sure we're okay now. So now we're going to sprint for the um, for the water. And we can see while this is processing in our stomach, even though we're sprinting, we're still building up energy. Okay. And now we see a tower. Now towers, now this is a point of interest, but tower, no tower. We don't ever want to skip any wooden tower like this in the map. Because towers like this, gives us weapons and arrows and various kinds of things okay but for now the hunter uses 0.22 ammo we don't know if we're going to find 0.22 ammo and the hunter makes a lot of noise but it's quite weak so if you don't want to use the bow then you switch to the hunter right here okay or you wait later you will find another hunter but what you can do is you can take the sight so long and yeah, just remember not to skip, um, not to skip any of these wooden towers that you find while you're running around, because they can give you very, very nice loot. Now we could explore this place. Okay, it's not too bad. We can definitely, definitely explore it, but um, we can always come back to it. Okay, so we're just gonna jump over this, and then we're gonna make sure we're going towards the water. And we just jump over this so we're using our passive compass that we got for free to save us a heck of a lot of time so that we don't run in circles not really being sure where we are we're at a hundred percent energy we know that just you know running through a forest can help us with that and now we want a bone uh, a bone needle and i'm going to show you how powerful the bow is the bow is an extremely powerful extremely powerful so we're gonna aim and then we're gonna shoot the reason i asked you guys to take a medium archery is that dot that dot is going to help you a lot because a lot of people struggle with the bow but the medium archery is going to give you that dot so that you know where you're shooting towards okay now we've got a shotgun here um and that's fine we're not going to focus on that but we're getting metal arrows uh, arrows here so for now it's just giving us extra arrows we can search the puppet first to see what the puppet has on it maybe it's something that we want not really and now we're going to chop now we're just going to chop the puppet up and that's why the stone knife is so important because you use it for various things until you find a knife then of course the knife is going to be a much better option but for now a stone knife is crucial so we're going to turn that into a bone needle we can turn a bone into a bone needle and then later when we find thread we can craft um we can craft this an improvised sewing kit that takes thread and a bone needle and with the sewing kit we will be able to craft this quiver, which has double the space of the one that we crafted. And that only takes a human skin, a puppet skin, when you've chopped him up, and the sewing kit. Okay, so that's going to be free loot space immediately. But like I say, for now, um, I will want you guys to get comfortable with the bow. The bow is a very silent killer and it's going to help you a lot. And then later on, I'll, I would like us to play a bit with um, with a crossbow, but you're going to need feathers to craft bolts. Now, toolboxes are very important, but because we've got inventory problems, we're not going to focus on them. Later, when we find a car, which you definitely will in single player, then we can put all those two toolboxes into our vehicle and collect all the materials that we're going to need for our base 
Uh, yeah, then we can craft the bait. So here we are at the water source. So we, we solved our food by just, you know, searching all the logs. And when we come to a water source, we can just drink directly from the water source. When you're on 70% water and you haven't got any weight on you, drinking three times will be more than enough. More than enough. Okay, so now we've got um, three circles there. So we're processing 200 milliliters per circle. And that's why you never want to drink all when you drink anything. Because if you've got a two liter bottle and you say drink all, then your character is going to process two liters slowly but surely. But when you drink that two liter bottle three times in a row or just, you know, drink, 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 then you'll only be processing 100 milliliters or 200 milliliters at a time. So you, your body's going to be processing it a lot quicker, getting your water to where you want it a lot quicker. As you can see, even with just three drinks, our, our water is going up very nicely. So that's it, guys. In the next video, we're going to be looting that town, giving you a few tips with looting, okay? But for now, that's the basics. We've got the, the starting gear, which is very important. The only difference is, is if you start in the snow, you'll probably start to craft an axe. An axe is not that, an axe is not difficult. You just craft a small stone axe head with two stones. And then with that small stone axe head, you just need a long stick and a tree bark rope and you'll be able to craft the axe. The axe will act as your melee weapon and then you can cut down a tree. Because it's difficult to find bushes in the snow area, you'll be able to cut down a tree, and then the tree will give you logs, which you can process into planks, and then you can craft a, a wooden club if you want to, and then later you can just add nails to it when you find nails, and that's quite a nice close range tool. Or you can use the axe, it's, it's your choice. And then from the tree, it will give you a bunch of sticks um, that's together. You cut up that, you chop up that stick pile with your axe and it will give you a ton of sticks to again do what we did now. Craft your improvised backpack and your bow and whatever you want to craft. So this is it for now. Tomorrow we'll carry on with this journey. If this helps you and you want to see more of this, go and click that subscribe button so that you're notified of future videos. And if you like this video, do me a favor and click that like button. It will really help me a lot. And yes, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers.